and your and welcome to Callum's Corner. I'm excited for this. This is a very special video, a challenge video. I am going to test myself, you know, man versus nature, and answer an age-old question. Can a man survive seven days eating only, eating entirely, eating exclusively curry? Um, yeah, it's going to be a physically and mentally taxing challenge. I mean, obviously it can be done because um, there's Indian people out there who, who love their curry. Um, and probably, you know, there's some of them who eat only curry. But can a man like me do it? You know, I'm not genetically disposed to this. I've got no formal training in this kind of stuff. So I think it's going to test me in terms of stomach solidity um, and anal robustness as well, given the... The normal side effects of the curry for me, yeah. It's it, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to test me in all kinds of ways, I think. But I'm ready for a test. I'm ready to start these challenges again. I was kind of on the way home from work last night in the shop and I saw um, naan breads and I just thought, you know what? It's time. It's time for me to start these challenges to test myself again. So this morning when I woke up before work, um, I had myself a 6.30 in the morning, this was, Peshwari naan for breakfast. Uh, it went fine. It's, you know, it's good. It's solid food. It's, um, you know, it's it's nourishing food. A good, nice bit of Peshwari naan. It's good. It's got coconut in there and it's bready. Um, it's, it's nourishment. It filled me up and it's kept me going. Tomorrow, um, I'd like to introduce maybe some taka dal or something to that, just because it was slightly dry, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, so... It's day one. I've had my breakfast. I had my naan. Uh, it powered me from work. Um, I'm now home from work and the oven is on. I'm going to cook up some. I don't fancy like a big lunch. Um, don't fancy like a curry now, like a proper, um, like a formal curry. Um, I'm going to save that for tonight. But what I am doing uh, is cooking up some onion barges and some vegetable samosas uh, just to power me through, just to keep me going. Right, yeah, there we go. The curry challenge has begun. I'm full of hope. I'm full of excitement. Um, and soon, hopefully, I'll be full of curry. Right, I have been rudely awakened. So it is time to focus back on the challenge. I'm going to do a trip to the co-op and get the supplies in for this evening. Um, and actually, I was I, I dozed off in my living room. having a lovely little nap on the sofa. Uh, when I was rudely awakened, my sister, her children, and my mum all came back home and banging around, making noise. Uh, so now I'm awake again. But it's probably for the best. I do need to focus on this challenge. And um, they are actually a big part about why I'm doing this challenge. I feel the need to test myself and actually get a win because it's doing my head in having my sister here. She recent, well, not even that recently, Kind of a while ago, turned up here again to support my mother through her, her mentalness, her bloody breakdown over the Queen dying. Uh, and she's still here. She's doing my head in. Um, yeah, life feels a bit like that at the moment. I recently failed my driving test too. I had very big plans about passing my driving test and just loads of stuff that was going to be really good. Getting in the office so I could go and make content without my family being here, without people doxing me all the time. It's just all gone a bit wrong. So I'm, I'm taking this challenge very seriously. It's time to start winning again. Time to start marching on again. Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's head to the co-op. I'm very lucky in my village. I'm blessed with two co-ops, although one only one is official. One's an official co-op, the other one's like a welcome shop that does co-op stuff. Uh, and that is the one we're going to, the kind of renegade co-op, because it's bigger. Uh, and they have like this lovely cook at home range, lovely curry. So, yeah, let's go and choose a curry. I'm thinking something classical, one of the classical dishes, tikka masala, gel frazi maybe. Um, and yeah, get dinner sorted, maybe get some more bhajis and pakora and um, naans and stuff, just to tide me over. Um, yeah, it's it's a marathon, not a sprint. I'm starting local, um, and then as the challenge gets harder, I can push out with go to a big Tesco and stuff, um, and an even bigger co-op over in Rye. So, there's options there. Right, let's get moving. Dinner time, dinner time, it's time to eat my...
dinner. Um, yeah, so as you saw from our little trip to the co-op, it was um, a disappointingly um, restricted kind of uh, choice today in terms of the cook at home range. Normally that freezer section is dead full of them, but uh, a chicken gel frazzy isn't bad, is it? It's a spicy little number um, and it's a good way to have my first proper um, curry off the challenge. Yeah, I'm excited. And the Kuka Home Range are bloody gorgeous. Not sponsored, no sponsorship in this video. Um, I just wholeheartedly endorse it. It's good bloody food. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to cook it and I'm going to eat it before I start my stream tonight. Um, I'll let you know how it tastes, but um, from personal experience, I bet it's going to be bloody delicious. Uh, if you're interested, actually, um, just to let you know, you know, may as well know exactly what I'm eating. I'm accompanying it with a garlic naan. Now, you're probably thinking you had naan for breakfast, Cal. Um, why aren't you having it with rice? Well, it's, for me, it's Tommy issues. Rice does tend to um, kind of run me slightly towards constipation. Um, and curries do tend to make me quite explosive. Um, I don't want to be explosively constipated. It sounds like a... A horrific combination. I just want to keep stuff simple. So we're sticking with the breaded products for accompany it today. Um, and we'll see how the old anus reacts to a while. Right, yeah, let's get cooking. Gosh, I think I waited a bit too long before I started this. I'm absolutely ravenous now, but I'm exercising self-control just to show you uh, my first full curry of the challenge. Um, you'll, you'll notice... Um, that there's no whole bits of chicken in there. Now, that isn't a, a problem with the cook at home range from the co-op. I do want to clear that up. Um, I've given that a good going over. I give it a good fa 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 just to break up all the chicken. Um, and I pre cut my naan breads into little triangles. Um, it's a good tip for you on how to eat a gel frazzy for best pleasure. And you can just scoop it in there, get generous amounts in there like that. Uh, it's just bosh. <laughs> Oh, that's bloody lovely, that is. Hey up, and good morning to you. Um, welcome to day two of the Curry Challenge. Although, um, strictly speaking, it hasn't really felt like much of a challenge so far. Um, yesterday just passed like a dream. And, you know, thinking about it, I guess that's natural. It's only, you know, one day on the curries. That's... That's not really any kind of challenge, is it? That's actually a pleasure. Um, yeah, yesterday was easy peasy. Lovely gel phrase to finish the day. Um, kind of taking stock now, you know, woken up early day two. Um, one thing I've noticed, my um, the kind of anal action was very much akin to that of a shotgun this morning. Kind of <laughs> fired it out fast and hard. Um, but physically, I feel fine. Um, I can't face... A Peshwari naan this morning. Um, the thought of having something that sweet, it, it, it just makes me feel a little bit sick. And I don't know whether that's the first signs of my stomach being sensitive or stuff, or whether it's natural not to want to eat a kind of Peshwari naan first thing in the morning. Anyway, I've, I've kind of snacked a little bit of a um, couple of long yum bhanjis and um, pakora, um, and I'm now going to head off to work. Um, yeah, but so far, so good, really. It's, it's going like a dream. Hey up and good afternoon to you. Right, I'm back home again now. Um, work went absolutely fine and I'm feeling loads, loads better. My stomach kind of um, solidified a bit throughout the morning and I'm feeling right as rain again. I think I was just a bit shaky. Um, you know, when you have like a, a violent bio evacuation, it can leave you a bit shook, can't it? A bit shaky. And I think that's what it was this morning. Um, but yeah, I'm having a really good afternoon, actually. Um, in terms of food um i i couldn't get hold of any japatis today i decided i wanted a japati rather than naan for lunch um maybe two naans in one day yesterday it was a bit ott put myself off them a bit um couldn't get hold of any but that's no that's no bother for me i'm a very good cook so i actually homemade uh my own japatis it's dead dead simple flour water kneading um and then frying them up they're a little bit fat little fat japatis um but i i, I actually filled um i had one of them when it was just you know straight off the pan warm it was nice but a bit bland um but um utilizing my brain i actually came up with an ingenious plan and i warmed up some takadal um and i rolled it kind of like a fajita um 
or maybe more like um what's it called sushi i don't know but it, it tasted good it was like eating like a, a fat japati cigar almost a burrito it was yeah it was decent i feel creative and i feel good um, I'm also enjoying being in my house at the moment. Well, not really, because my sister's here, but uh, she's got like one of her co one of our cousins has come over, um, and it's kind of her cousin, her favourite cousin. It's one I dislike the most, and she's got this baby who's downstairs now, and it's I just really don't like this baby. It glares at me, like it like you smile at it. And I say baby, it's like over one now, um, and it still does the same thing. Just blinks at you and it's like who do you think you are little baby and it keeps crying and stuff and they're just down there now trying to re kind of reassure each other about their you know great life choices that they've made how happy they are you're not happy you're not superior just because you let some bloke spock and just bloody mock up inside you um yeah they both look miserable as hell and what i'm really loving is my eldest niece as well uh and she's like she's not a teenager yet but she's getting older she's 12 now uh and she's really like fighting back against amy it's great she keeps calling her a twat uh and it really winds amy up she blames me for it says because i use the word all the time but you know, if you act like a twat, you speak like a twat, you talk like a twat, you're probably a twat, and people are going to pick up on that. Um, but yeah, it's great just seeing all of her, her ridiculous mind control unravel. She's even like proper rejecting the veganism and stuff now, both of my nieces. Oh, it's fantastic. It's gratifying. Yeah, I feel good. I feel really good. It's a high point in the challenge so far, I think. I feel pure as well, like my soul is pure. Like I've kind of earned this gratification, this superiority that I'm sitting up here, almost like in my throne, in my bedroom feeling. Um, yeah, purged of bad stuff, just full of curry. Um, and yeah, really liking it so far. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got, my plan is to get another, another kid get home curry for tonight. But tomorrow, I think we're going to have to branch out, head to the big test girls and get some more supplies in. Um, although I'm enjoying the, the bits I've had so far. But yeah, I think I am going to need to branch out. And I want to make my own curry as well, like a vata curry to kind of see me through. Because it's, you know, it's pricey, the cook at home stuff. It's lovely, but it is pricey. All right, yeah, all right, I'll see you later. Right, I don't know whether it's because it starts getting dark at pathetic o'clock now or what, but my mind has started turning to dinner, so I'm heading up to the big co-op now to get my food in early, uh, hoping they'll have a bigger choice. Uh, in terms of choices, I think I'm going to go for a lamb du Priazza. Uh, du I don't know whether I pronounced that right, but I know that I really enjoy it. Um, and a lovely bit of lamb seems a bit appropriate right now. You know, nice fluffy lamb to float through the challenge. So... Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to get, uh, and also some more Tarkadal, because uh, that was decent for lunch today. So, um, yeah, let's let's get there and have a look what I got. What a lovely sight, full as can be. Right, we have a plan. Let's stick with it. Good morning to you all. Um, slightly difficult start to day three. It's left me a bit shaken. Um, it's my day off today and I plan to, to sleep in a bit. Um, but woke up early um, needing to evacuate my bowels. Um, not a massive deal. You know, you don't you don't attempt to do a seven day curry challenge where you eat nothing but curry um, and expect not to, to evacuate your bowels on an alarmingly regular basis. You know, I was expecting that um, and I'm dealing with it. Um, however, it's it's without giving you too much information, it's the smell. Um, of what's been evacuated it is changed for me usual smell you know the man gets used to the normal scent of himself in the morning when he when he does perform a bio evacuation and this is definitely different it's kind of sweeter um, and slightly cheesy uh, the smell it's really disturbing um, made me feel gross out of the bathroom quick enough um, yeah it's 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 left me a little bit shaky, I guess. It's, it's you know, no one likes change, do they? Um, but, yeah. Um, I don't really want breakfast. And thinking I'd have some more dal and, you know, naan or something. But it's just bland, isn't it, dal? It's just dull, is what I should call it. Um, I'm just, I'm really craving a boiled egg. Uh, I think it would sort out my tummy and the protein of it. Um 
you can, there are some curries, I know, with hard boiled eggs in, but that's not what I want, that's too savoury. I just want a good, honest boiled egg to start the day. Simple is, simple as, simple does, nice thick, lure pack on a bit of toast, soldiers dip it in, loads of salt. I have myself a little pile of salt on my plate that I sprinkle on each, each dippage. Uh, and we're talking proper table salt, none of this middle class flakes and stuff that crunches in your mouth. I just want a simple working class boiled egg. Heart wants what the heart wants. It's what I'm craving, but I can't have it. Um, and I feel a little bit like the day stretching in front of me now. I need to be filled with curry that I don't really fancy right now. Um, especially given what went on in there. Uh, I'm going to stop talking now because I feel like the smell is still permeating in on in there and seeping underneath. I don't want to sniff that again. Um, but yeah, struggling a bit this morning. Uh, I am acutely feeling the loss. I am missing my English staples. And please, you know, please don't misconstrue this as some kind of xenophobic rant. It's most certainly not. You know, I'm, I'm privileged to be eating curry for a week, but it's not something that I'm used to. I'm sure if you're an Indian person and you're always eating curry, it's just what you know, but as an Englishman, um, I'm missing, I'm missing toast, I'm missing the, the clean, sharp flavours of what goes on toast, you know, just a nice bit of jam, some marmalade maybe, um, thank God, thank God for the bargees and pakora, I've tried to replicate toast a tiny bit, uh, well the jam side, but basically I've had loads of um, mango chutney, um, with some bargees and pakora. It feels like the only thing I can stomach at the moment. I can't eat any more naan bread, especially not this early. Um, I don't want a full curry this early. That's too much for me. Um, even stuff that I normally really, really like, like the um, Bombay potato. Normally I can't get enough of that. Um, like the 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 cheesy pea thing, like the, the matta paneer. Normally love that, but I just... The thought of it now, you know, before 10.30 in the morning, it's just too much. It's just too much. Really, I'd like a biscuit, is what I'd like. Just to ease my way into the day with a biscuit. You know, some mornings, that's all you want. Just have a biscuit to start with. You know, warm your stomach up for for more food. That's, that's what I need, is like a biscuit, a snack, a normal something, just to get my stomach warmed up. You know, get it fighting fit for the day. Then I probably could eat a full curry, but... As it stands, I don't fancy it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a vat of curry. I've decided um, today. At least it'll take my mind off it a little bit, and then at some point, hopefully, I'll feel like eating it. Um, I've had some suggestions, some recipes, actually, from some absolute legends. I've got some supportive legends in my streams. Um, Joel, Joel has sent me one over. Um, a guy called I Love Adam's Cake as well. Um, I don't want to play favourites though, so I think I'm going to start and make a vat of curry um, of my own making. I'm going to get creative with it. Um, I've not studied curry making, like certainly not formally, but I've done some Googling. Um, and basically what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to... You know, I need ghee butter, apparently. I can't get ghee butter in a small village in the Isle of Wight. So I'm going to use normal butter, um, but I'm going to heat that up and I'm going to put these mustard seeds I've got in there that will apparently pop... Uh, and then some onion, um, tomato, chopped tomato, uh, and then the spices, curry powder, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then it gets, you know, get creative. I'm going to get the chicken in there. Um, I'm going to get some chickpeas, I've decided, for sustenance. And I think some sweet potato. Uh, maybe some normal tin potato as well. I have got some. Um, and, exotically, you guys may well not have heard of this, but... Um, cosmopolitan as I am uh, it's called coconut milk and it will give it this whole kind of binding all together um, and if I have made it too spicy I can add a fair bit of this and, and doll it down a bit although I do like a bit of spice Right, today has definitely been the day that the challenge got tougher, stepped up a gear so to speak um, I did my vat of curry um, and uh Left it to um, just simmer slowly for the afternoon was the plan. Um, I managed to head over to my office, which was an absolute bag of arse. Rented it three months ago and they told me it would be finished by the time I moved in. Still, 
There's a bloody hole in the roof. There's no heat in it. It's colder than a witch's bosom at the moment. Bloody thrones there. Internet not working. I mean, that bloody get out of there. It's been a waste of time and money. Another bloody waste. Anyway, I, I got home and, I don't know, cold or something makes your digestion run faster. You know, you're burning through your... What is a lack of food in my stomach in my case. So I'm home and I'm hungry and I'm thinking, OK, I'm actually, I'm going to eat the curry now. I fancy the curry. Um, and it's been bloody turned off in there. I haven't been able to get hold of my mum or my sister to find out which one of them done it. Probably my sister. She loves to sabotage me because they've gone over to bloody ride. And I bet they're going to the big Tesco's. I could do with stuff from big Tesco's. Not answering their bloody phone now. Going to get over to Big Tesco's myself tomorrow, I think. It's needed to see myself through the second half of this challenge. I need supplies. If you're going to eat curry, nothing but curry for a week, you need a lot of curry. A lot of supplies is what I'm learning. Just disappointing is, you know, when you got it in your mind, I'm thinking, oh, the chicken will be falling apart by now. Dead, dead stringy, like, you know, when it's all nice and falling apart. Um, and also really, really craving the tin potatoes. I've still got to pop them in, actually. It's eating back up now but i don't know where i am with it in the cooking process the chicken loops cooks but i don't know how cooks i have to leave it on for a while but yeah it's the potatoes little boiled potatoes that i'm craving and it was boiled eggs this morning and i'm i don't know whether subconsciously and you know it's worth discussing um whether i am craving something that looks like me racially you know little peeled boiled potato little boiled egg looks an awful lot like me, doesn't it? And that's what I'm craving to eat when I'm doing a challenge, eating food from another land. It's, you know, maybe subconsciously there's something there. You know, I'm as unracist as they come, but maybe just subconsciously I'm wanting to eat something that looks like me after eating so much foreign food. I don't know. Who knows? It's always worth thinking about the mind, though. It's a magical thing. Anyway, yeah, bag of arse, eh? Hey up, welcome to day four. Um, massively hit a wall today. I feel physically at an absolute low. I feel weak. I feel despondent. And I just feel, yeah, I feel like I'm struggling today. It's mainly, it's the physical thing. It's like my tummy just feels really bubbly all the time. Um, this morning, my bowel movement was gross. Well, bowel movements, I've switched to like a poop and then another poo before I even leave the house. Um, still got that disturbing kind of overripe cheesiness smell. It's just, it's turned into a horrible experience in the morning as it really has. And if we're talking cheese, it's, it's like <coughs> primula rather than bloody cheddar. No solidity. Um, didn't eat breakfast this morning. Couldn't face it at all. Um, and at work, I felt that all day. I felt weak and stuff this morning. Just, it was all a real struggle. Um, I meant to go to Tesco's this afternoon on my way home, but I just couldn't be asked. And that's, you know, gonna, it's gonna sabotage me slightly this afternoon because I could be having new curry stuff at least. Although I just don't fancy anything curry related. What I really fancy is a sandwich. You know, just a cheese and ham sandwich. Just really simple is, simple as, simple dull. Something to calm me down, calm my stomach down. <sighs> Family's all watching the new season of The Crown in there. It's just not a good day. Just not a good day today. Right, um, I thought I'd set up in my little streaming room. At least I can get some privacy in here. They are all still watching The Crown. They've been at it half the afternoon and bloody evening. And Amy's showing her kids this. I don't think that's bloody appropriate viewing for children. Do you want to expose them to that? Like, overprivileged nonsense, really? I don't think it's appropriate, but I'm not in a good mood, to be honest with you. It's been, an, like, it's been an arsehole of a day. I've, like, I've barely eaten it anything um and i don't do well with extreme hunger um after my last vlog little section i went back upstairs because they're all in my bloody living room and i stayed up there for a while just watching my like, talks about videos and stuff but the hunger it's starting to get to me you know my stomach's bobbling all the time it's making itself known it's hungry i'm hungry um so i decide i've got a kickstart here i decide to cook up some pakora and bargees they haven't like failed me so far this week um, but 
Um, I mean, it's like tragic, but it basically the Bacora has turned on me. Um, yeah, it's not like top quality bits, it's just like frozen ones that I've been cooking up, but you know, needs be, they, they fill the hole and stuff. But today when I cooked them, um, I went to like, eat it and I broke it in half and the smell of the Bacora um, has it's changed from being something delicious and it was all musty and gross. I've had too much of it, I think it, it smelled like vaginal and we're not talking like a, a nice clean you know, well kept vagina. We're talking like festival box and musty and fusty. It just it made me feel sick. It had become all vaginal basically. It's the only way I can describe it. So that was in the bin. Um back up to my bedroom, back to the drawing board, sulking a bit if I'm honest up there. Um and I'm thinking, you know, what I really want is, you know, something English. What well, I basically I decided I was gonna have an egg. Um but I didn't want to cheat and just have like a uh, just a plain egg. I, I wanted to corrify the egg. So I came up with a plan. I, I hard boiled two eggs. Um, and then what I did is I peeled them off, uh, popped them in the bowl and stuff, let them cool off. Um, and then I got a few generous spoons out of my vat of curry I made earlier in the week. You know, lots of juice, um, but also other bits, loads of bits of onions, shards of vegetables and stuff, chickpeas. Um, not really any bits of chicken, because I didn't know how that would go with it. But the mushy curry matter, basically. Um, and I, I then, I mushed up the eggs like I was making egg mayonnaise, but my mayonnaise was curry. Um, so yeah, it was a fully corrified egg uh, that I turned it into, and then I then put that in a cooked up a chapati, and it was basically like a curry mayonnaise sandwich, egg, egg curry sandwich. Um, probably the best thing I've had in a couple of days. It's brought my strength back a bit, um, my clarity. I'm not myself when I don't eat all day. Um, I know what I need to do. I need to get to big Tesco's. That's the that's the place I am. In, in the challenge. I'm struggling now and it's time to go to big Tesco's and get some proper supplies and then try and reinvigorate myself a bit, you know, ignite my soul again. Yeah, I'm glad I've eaten something, but yeah, absolutely awful day today. Hey up and welcome to day five. Right, I feel so much better today. My spirits are soaring. I don't know whether it's because I'm feel a little bit like I'm in touching distance now on day five, um, or whether it's something else. It does feel like physically something has changed for me a little bit. Um, I'm still struggling with the eating. I hardly had anything this morning, although I've switched to um, a plain naan for breakfast this morning, just with a bit of butter on it, just warmed it up in the oven, um, and that was a bit better. Uh, I think the strong flavours of garlic and peshwari naan first thing in the morning, probably it's just a bit too much for me. Uh, but even with the plain buttered naan, um, I'm only uh, like less than half of it I had. I was just picking bits off and eating it. It was like I was just taking the sustenance that I needed. And it feels like something is switched in my body now. Um, and I'm almost like I'm fasting. I feel like a religious figure or something. You know, Jesus out in the bloody desert 40, fasting for 40 nights. I'm not totally fasting, but I'm just taking what I need. Little mouthfuls. It's just sustaining myself. Uh, just enough. Um, and I feel like I've lost a fair bit of weight, actually. I almost completed my weight loss journey, um, which is, you know, if this is helping me lose that last few pounds, it'd be good because I'd like to make that video. Like, you know, went on what went on over the last couple of years, all the weight that I put on and stuff. Um, but I kind of just want to finish it off. But yeah, I feel like the challenge is helping. Anyway, uh, work's done now. So I'm going to head over to Big Tesco. Uh, got a lift over there. So um, yeah, that's you know, also massively positive, making my spirit soar a bit, just a, the thought of extra choice, um, just something a bit different, um, I've decided to go, like, to mix it up a bit, I've had a lot of chicken so far this week, and I kind of feel for, like, these last couple of days, I just need to be steadfast, and, you know, strong in my beliefs, so I think maybe a bit of beef, take on the power of the cow, um, just to power me through for the last couple of days, but also maybe some snacky stuff, um, maybe just Try different Bacora. Maybe you won't have that vaginal smell if it's fresh Bacora. There'll be more stuff in It's big Tesco's. It's big bloody Tesco's. I love big Tesco's. And most of you won't understand my excitement. But if you live in a small village uh, like I do, go into big Tesco's, big supermarkets. Bloody brilliant. Right, let's head over there and see what I can find. Curry, curry for my Tommy. Let's get some curry for me. Christ, it's the curry promised lands. It's the Mecca, the curry Mecca. The choice is unbelievable. 
Billy Arne. Good evening to you. Um, I am about to talk in to a Tesco Finest Beef Madras Curry. Um, and it's going to be accompanied by an Apple Tigers. Yeah, I tell you, soaring spirits, not half. Lovely. Really looking forward to this, actually. Um, yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate, really, how lucky I am. Um, I know I was moaning a bit yesterday. I was struggling and stuff. But um, variety, it just is the spice of life, isn't it? Just a trip to Big Tesco and being able to pick and choose a few different items. You know, we're so lucky to, to live the life we do. Um, yeah, full of gratitude and soon to be full of curry. Hey up and welcome to the penultimate day of the curry challenge. Um, right, considering I have spent the last five days solid eating nothing but Indian food, um, I am feeling strangely Arabic today. Uh, feel like my name should be Mustafa. Uh, Mustafa crap, it's ridiculous. Twice this morning again before I'd even left the house. Uh, and then at work, horrifically bloody embarrassing. Um, by the time I was at my second place that we cleaned, not even at the second place, actually, on the way there, my stomach was bobbling. I knew I was going to have to go. As soon as we got there, I had to shut myself off in the bathroom. Um, and I just, yeah, I pooped. I pooped very quickly. It was over very quickly, thankfully. Um, but that's just a physical act of it. Do you know what I mean? The smell of it. You know, apparently Shirley was lying to us. It's not diamonds that are forever. It's the smell of fecal matter when you've been eating nothing but curry. It's awful. I don't want to labour the point, but um, it's barely anything coming out. It's like half a cup of what I'd imagine liquid nuclear material to be like, coloured like, just with shards of vegetables in there. It's like a small dirty bomb that just, it's disgusting. And then, uh, you know, flushed and everything, cleaned everything up, but the smell is there. Like I say, it's bloody forever, it seems. And, you know, it's not a normal smell at the moment. Mixing the bloody meat, switching to beef hasn't helped. It's made it worse, if anything, the cheesy aroma. Working with this other bloke, and, you know, I know he can smell it. I can see it in his eyes that he can smell it. It feels like he wants to, you know, ask me the question like that bloody episode from Peep Show. Is that normal for him, for you, Callum? I kind of wish he... I had asked it. I wanted to explain how I've been eating nothing but curry. That's very much not normal. But I didn't say anything. Neither of us acknowledged it because we're bloody British. We just went about it with the fog of my bloody feces in the bloody Airbnb. It was disgusting and it was embarrassing. Horrific. I'm almost through this challenge. And, it, you know, although it has felt good mentally to be smashing my doors in again and pitting myself against... You know, a tough situation. Um, it's also led me to have horrifically embarrassing moments, feces-wise. Oh my God, I am pumping with a righteous rage. But it's okay because I have, I've righted a wrong and I've rediscovered a, a bloody important part of myself in the process, right? So, um, a little while ago, uh, my nieces moping around moaning because they're bored, right? My sister does nothing in terms of their amusement. So... I decided to send them on a little mission to amuse them. I tell them, here's 10 quid. You take it down the big co-op and you can choose yourself a sweet each. Um, also, ulterior motives. Um, I did want them to get me a bottle of full fat coke to go with my biryani. Um, anyway, sent them down there. A uh, little while later, they come back in and one of them's crying. Right? Uh, what has gone on here? And apparently, they've been accused of shoplifting down at the co-op, the big co-op. I couldn't believe it, right? Story comes out. They did, they'd asked them if they'd paid for stuff. Okay, you check that. That's fine. Um, and then they started, like, they walked up the road, the girls, my nieces, um, and two of them followed them out of there and went and brought them back to the shop and said, like, who did you pay? And they showed the person. The person was like, yeah, they did pay and stuff. They let them go. But they've, like, terrified them following us. It's, it's dark outside. It's dark outside, right? And they're like 11 and 12. It's disgusting behaviour, right? And I don't like my sister, but these are my nieces. These are my family, my blood, right? And my sister's doing barely anything about it. She's just talking about vague complaints and stuff. So no, I'm not having that. I march straight down there. I love the co-op, but I love my family more, right? And I'm confronting the lady who's done this, right? And as it's happening, as I'm confronting her, I just feel... Everything pouring back inside myself. This is what I was made for. As she starts to cry, I just feel this, this glorious victory inside me. This is what I am made for, what I'm meant to do. I 
shouldn't be hiding away from the spasmoids who made my life a misery, you know, trying to keep my address by them stuff. I should be out there crapping in their eye and making them eat it. This is what I'm built for. Anyway, she profusely bloody apologised. She's learnt her lesson. All right, I'm going to boss a bloody victory biryani now and enjoy my full fat coke. But yeah, I, I couldn't believe that. I've had no problems with that place before, but that was, I wasn't standing for it. Right, welcome to the final day of the Cory Challenge. I'm within touching distance. Uh, now, apologies, this is my first vlog entry for the day. Uh, but I've had a loads going on. I actually um, had a confrontation with my sister when I got home from work and ended up making a standalone video about it. You can go and watch that if you want. I'm not going to rehash it now. But um, yeah, this is my first vlog entry of the day. Now, um, physically, um, while not broken, I'm quite low. I started the day with another revolting bioevacuation, um, had a shower, and then it was a repeat, another bioevacuation. Only like five minutes later, that's unheard of. But that is where I'm at physically, you know, just ejecting biological material willy-nilly from my body. If it's not in the form of, well, I wouldn't even call it solids, actually, in all liquids. But if it's not in that form, it's gaseous. It's, it, it has been a struggle. It has been a challenge. Um, but mentally, I am soaring. The victory over my sister, glorious. Confrontation last night with that thing who worked in the co-op, glorious. Right, I just thought I should show you this, kind of record this moment for history, because uh, this is what will um, probably be my last, my last full curry of the challenge. Um, meeting a bit earlier this evening, um, and I just wanted to show you, kind of it, have it down, recorded. Um, now, you'll notice the difference from when I first started the challenge, actually, the astute amongst you. Uh, I'm down to a single narn, um, and I'll just tear little bits off of this. Uh, probably won't even eat half of it, actually. Um, and hopefully you'll notice that I've gone for a gel frazy. I just thought it's kind of serendipitous. I started with a gel frazy. I'll finish with one. Um, yeah. Now, let me turn you around so I can speak to you properly. Hey, up. Right, um, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just little torn off pieces of naan bread dipped in there. Yeah, I'll snag a little bit of chicken, a bit of veg with it, with the sauce. Um, and it's almost like less is more. Um, and that's kind of been the feeling that I've got from this challenge. I, uh, I shaved my head earlier and trimmed my beard and stuff. And I've definitely lost weight over this last week. It's kind of... It's cleansed me down. It's brought, you know, my levels of gluttony down. It's a good thing. You know, look at that jawline. That's chiseled and defined almost. Ready to be wine and dine, ladies. You know, you like that. Yeah, um, it's just, I feel great, to be honest with you. It's been, it's been tough at times, but it's, it's good to be testing myself. It's good to be winning again. You can't underestimate the importance of winning in life. Right, let's waffle in. Let's snag some of this curry. Um, and just get that last few bites recorded for prosperity. Oh. Mm. Tell you what, even now, after seven days of eating nothing but curry, I can say that still tastes decent and I will come back to curry. Um, might be a week or two before I have another one, don't get me wrong, uh, but I will definitely come back to curry. Wasn't that way when I finished my pea challenge. I felt like I'd never want to eat another pea in my life. Um, but I think it speaks volumes to curry. You know, we should exalt it. We should celebrate the varieties of curries. Um, it's been made possible by curry, this challenge, actually. That's the real hero here. Tough as it's been for me, curry is the real hero. Right, I'm going to stop recording now. Hopefully, this is um, you've enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, please do leave a dislike. I can still see them, so I do know. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching if you made it this far.